And with that, we should continue to 2015. And I would like to ask France to step forward. There is a bid for the World Aerobatic Championship. Right, so hello again. France is uh, very pleased um, to submit this proposal for hosting the World Aerobatic Championships 2015. A bid, uh, Pierre and myself are presenting on behalf of the French NAC and the French Federation of Aeronautics. Um, France uh, believes that they need more than one year to prepare and organize uh, this championship properly, which can in the end only be beneficial to all participants. This is why uh, we submit this bid uh, uh, this year, and this is why France would not have considered submitting uh, a bid next year for the 2015 event. <coughs> of course, then, not everything is uh, fully determined or fixed uh, uh, today at this time. Uh, uh, nevertheless, I can tell you the teams uh, over there in the Federation, in the NAC, and other stakeholders in France are extremely motivated, and they are now waiting for the outcome of this plenary uh, to move uh, full speed ahead. So, uh, next one. So, because we're a bit short in time, I will not enter into too many details of uh, uh, aviation and uh, aeronautics and aerobatics in France, but you will have a chance to review all that. You will receive the, uh, we will upload that, I think, on the website anyway. So, uh, I guess all of you uh, know more or less about uh, French aerobatics. Uh, the last uh, big uh, competition we organized was the WAC in 2000, uh, 2000 in Muret, near Toulouse. Uh, so we can go move to the next one. Okay, with a lot of uh, airfields everywhere. Uh, supported by a number of administrations, so also for this bit that the sports ministry is fully behind, uh, as well as the National Civil Aviation Authority and the French uh, Ministry of Defense. Uh, and the Air Force. Next. You can... Next. So, what's important? You're all waiting for some information now. The dates. It's in big, so you can write it down. 19th to 29th of August. Next, and here we're going to enter into the location issue. So we've been going already through a process of uh, calling for uh, ideas and opportunities for this uh, hosting this. Uh, we, we have already down selected four airfields out of which we discarded two uh, based on concerns on weather here, rain, based on concerns of wind here in Avignon. I, I'm not, we are not excluding that we may have some other uh, good ideas in the coming weeks. Uh, we're still expecting a few uh, entries, let's say, in terms of bidding for that. So today, the baseline is a short list of two airfields, one in Bordeaux and another one in Châteauroux, and we are now going to look into a bit more details on, on that. Next. So, this is the Bordeaux case. Here you have the city of Bordeaux. All, all of you, especially judges with a sharp eye, you can see two crossing runways here. That's the international Bordeaux Merignac Airport. So you can, you, can, uh, you can land here. You can also have some, uh, some cargo landing here. The airfield we're talking about for the championships is a smaller airfield located here where there's a team uh, active in aerobatics. We have some, uh, some unofficial competition every year on that airfield. Next. Not too many details here. I don't want to enter into that, but just to let you know, we have a paved runway of 800 meters and a grass strip a, a little bit shorter. We, we're going to Google Earth that a little bit. The location of the box. So here you have, you recognize the paved runway, uh, the, the hangars, etc. 
we have designed a box like this. We have an issue to solve on this airfield. Uh, you see that it's not so easy to find the exact good uh, box location to avoid the trees, uh, etc. So we, we are on it, we're working on that, and this is one of the issues we have to solve right now. But this is a tentative uh, setup. Sunrise, sunset, so typical, nothing special to, to mention on that. Next. This is the Châteauroux case, completely different. So Châteauroux, uh, a bit more than 250 kilometers south of Paris, which is, uh, seems to be the closest big international airport. However, here you have a big airfield. This is the city of Châteauroux. Uh, runway 3,500 meters, which means you can land cargo and everything you need over there. We have every year a French Open in Châteauroux, which gathers more than 80 competitors, all levels, not on this airfield. Another one which is around here, much smaller. In this case, we would go for the big one with much better facilities. And next, nothing to add on that. Next one. Again, so here the box, much easier. We can put it everywhere. We're going to have three or four boxes at the same time. No. Uh, so again, hangar space, by the way, also hangar space in the previous one in Bordeaux. Nothing special to, to add on that. No concern on our side. This airfield is used for maintenance. It's used partly for, uh, for line training with some Airbus and Boeings. I have to add that, also the case for Bordeaux, of course, uh, what we do in France when we have competitions, we have no times, we have everything, we, we liaise with the people beforehand so that there is no uh, interference. Next. Uh, so, I, I would suspect, or we would suspect with Pierre that you would have to some, some questions about the weather. First of all, so this is Bordeaux and this is Châteauroux, a, a very broad outlook on where those fields are. And you see that, for instance, the very southwest of France is usually very green. Uh, uh, green is a synonym of rainy. Uh, and green, not on this graph, but on, on the land itself. Uh, so you see Bordeaux is not in that area. Bordeaux is fine in terms of weather in August, especially, uh, uh, as well as Châteauroux here. Next. So what you have here are statistical data. Average temperature, which is a 24 average, so which means during the day in August in Bordeaux, it can reach typically 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, but let's say normal weather for us. Uh, uh, used to practice aerobatics in summer. Rain, precipitations in millimeters. So this might not mean many things to you, just to know that uh, th this is just standard for, for a, a not rainy region in summer. Uh, if you have this amount every month in the year, in anywhere, it's called a draft, in average. So. This is absolutely fine. Next, wind. This is a distribution of the wind direction. So mostly from west, no, no surprise. Average speed, seven knots. Uh, and this might be an interesting figure. It's 17% the probability that the wind would exceed kind of of uh, 10 or 11 uh, knots or something like that. Uh, four by four for the ones who practice sailing and so on. If you have four, w you are already fully fine with aerobatics all directions. The problem comes when you have more than four and this statistics is equals or more than four. Okay, so the conclusion out of that is that 
we expect good conditions. There are no signs that would have wrong conditions there. Next. So same for Chateauroux, same, same kind of data. No issue to report on this one. Next one, wind distribution, which means here predominantly from the southwest, west-southwest, eight knots in average. So same, same story. Uh, on our side, we have no issue to report. Next. Here we go into the team. Proposed contest director Guy Auger, that some of you know already, very experienced. He's been, uh, so he's been chief judge uh, this year. He's uh, used to organize competitions. He's uh, the contest director of our annual uh, Coupe de France, the French Open, gathering, as I said, more than 80 pilots every year. International judge. So you know this man. Next. The rest of the organizing committee. Emmanuel Foulon, Christine Genin, Jérôme Houdier, some of you may know all or some of them, very experienced in aerobatics. Uh, they are fully knowledgeable on what needs to be done for a proper organization. Next. Ah, this you were expecting, I'm sure, as well. Entry fees. Entry fees, competitors, 1,800, based on double occupancy. Uh, here we're talking a competition of 11 nights. Uh, so the hotels, uh, no issue on the hotels in both cities. We have plenty of hotels. In terms of standards, that would be the normal standard for SIVA. It includes everything that is required. We expect a discount for early registration and a small increase for late registration. Not everything is fully detailed on this presentation, but it's important that France pledges to fully liaise with the CIVA Bureau continuously until this competition uh, ends uh, to deal with any issue and to resolve any, uh, any problem. Next. A few words just on also the rest of the logistics. What about training fields? I'm certainly not suggesting that you can train on all those 450 airfields. Uh, the message here is that France has the highest density in Europe in terms of airfields. So we're quite confident this will be OK. We can move, zoom in a little bit uh, to the next one. This is a Bordeaux case. And from this chart already, I can tell you that I can see around 15 airfields around Bordeaux that are used to have aerobatic flights, training camps, competitions. So it's not new for them. And all those fields have aero clubs affiliated to the French Federation, who is in fact presenting this, which, which means that all those aero clubs support. Next is the same for Chateauroux. Chateauroux in the center of France. You see it, it's also quite well served in terms of airfields. So we will manage and France will assist everyone to find the right conditions for training close to the contest site. Next. So before I close, just uh, some concluding remarks on all that. Again, this bid has full support by all the stakeholders in France, the NAC, the Federation, the Air Force, Pierre, <laughs> some sponsors. Uh, uh, so th there is a big momentum, and we're fully ready for that. And again, the organizing team, the French Federation, the NAC, are fully committed and pledged to comply with the CIVA requirements with the uh, contest or organization guidelines to continuously liaise with the CIVA officials and the Bureau uh, to, to, to give update and to discuss the progress on that and resolve any issue. To finally select the most suitable location for the event, there is absolutely no interest uh, for France to have that in the non-suitable airfields. We have also the support from uh, 
The political support, as I said, we, for instance, for Bordeaux, we, I forgot to mention, we, we have on the table already a letter of support from the mayor of Bordeaux, former prime minister of France. Assist teams for training fields, aircraft rental if necessary, other logistics issue, and of course a pledge that from now until, or from registration until the end, to make work a level playing field for all teams, which means no favor given to anybody. Uh, with this, I think that's it. I, I'm just calling for for you, my fellow CIVA delegates, to give your support to this uh, proposal. That's now the only thing. The, the teams there are waiting to proceed full speed ahead. Any question? Okay, on this one, I, 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 I'm not sure I can fully answer to that question because we have not worked out the details of how many weeks before. I fully understand uh, and I acknowledge the, the, the issue. We want to do something reasonable and this is part of what I said before, liaising with the Bureau to find the, the arrangements that are satisfactory for everybody. Uh, I, if in the end it turns out that uh, the organizers need a deposit by a certain date, but not the full amount that's could not, that can also be arranged. Whatever, this will be discussed. I cannot now say uh, it's fully okay because I don't know the conditions from the hotels or wh whatever, simply. Ten judges? Sorry? Ten judges. Ten judges. Okay, let's go for a vote. If there is no other bid, we have yes to approve it, no to not approve it, or abstain. I'll give the word to Mr. Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Orvidsson. Uh, please switch your handsets on, make sure they're working. Again, please wait for me to say, but you will vote one for yes, two for abstain, or three for no. Is everybody happy? Then we open the voting and please vote now. I have all the votes, so I stop the voting and the result is 21 yes, 1 abstain, 3 no. Congratulations.